Hello viewers, welcome back to NKST channel. Today's video is going to be a little bit of comparison between Heng Dalla and Steel Dive Captain Willard Homage watches, followed by mod process of Heng Dalla with Seiko OEM Dow. This video is not full review of both watches. I will just go through the different features between these two brands. Both brands are equally good and you decide which brand is more suitable for you. The reason why I am using Heimdaler to mod in this video is because I have already done a few modifications on steel dive, such as Marine Master mod, Limited Edition mod, Deep Blue Hole mod, as well as Captain Willard mod. Before moving on, I would like to thank all of you who subscribe to the channel. If you have not done yet, please subscribe and click the notification bell to make sure you get notified on the new videos, because we make videos every week. Hi guys, welcome back again. Let's start with the comparison between the case. Interestingly, Heimdaler has much better brush finishing. It is a lot smoother and you can't really feel the brush finishing as much. Whereas on steel dive, it is quite rough and you can really feel the individual line. position between Seiko and these homage watches. Seiko is at 318 position. These homage watches are at 4 o'clock position. The result of this, we will have to cut Seiko OEM dial feet to align it properly on this homage watch. Next will be the crystal. Both come with flat sapphire crystal with blue AR coating. Both have slight chamfer on the edge. As you can see here, on Handela, it sits somewhere in line with the bezel height. But on steel dive, it sits taller. On the bezel, both are using quine edge type bezel. Finishing is really good. There is no excessive play on both bezel. Bezel design is the same as some other Chinese dive watches, which is with the wire spring. Please don't try to pry removing them, as it is very very hard to remove them. You might bend it or damage it eventually. Even if you can manage to remove it, it is very hard to put it back. So, never, never try to remove it unless it is completely necessary for your modding process. Both come with ceramic bezel insert. There are two differences between these two brands. Heimdaler insert comes with loom pip and the whole entire insert is normal ceramic. Steel dive doesn't have this loom pip but the whole insert is loom. Both brands come with screw type engraved case bag. Finishing is equally nice. Main difference between these two brands is on the crown. As you can see here, 
Heimdaler comes with sterile crown, and the steel dive comes with logo engraved on the crown. So that's your choice, whether you want sterile crown or engraved crown. That's about it for the comparison. As mentioned before, both brands are equally good and bang for the bucks we pay. It is really subjective on individual on your choice. Now, let's get into transformation. Use a case opener to loosen the watch case back and open carefully. Gently push on the lever to easily remove the crown and stem. Use flat head screwdriver to lift the movement gently from casing. Flip the watch on cushion pad to remove the movement. Check date function to ensure it works properly. Place it into brass movement holder in preparation of dial changing. Align all hands at one location. Use hand remover to pull all hands out at one go. Make sure you protect the dial from getting any scratches. Use flat head screwdriver to lift the stock dial from the plastic bracket. As mentioned before, cut the dial feet, align properly and install on the movement firmly with double-sided adhesive. Apply the hour hand first, then the minute hand. Make sure hour and minute hands land firmly and accurately on every hour, especially at 3, 6, 9, and 12 hours. Now apply second hand. Clean the face thoroughly before casing the movement. Clean up the case to ensure there is no dust trapping inside. Once you are happy with the cleaning the case, case the movement. Return the crown and stem. Press the movement firmly into the case. Lubricate case back gasket. Install the case back on and tighten up properly. Now the build is finalized.
sing. We really hope this video is useful for your modding project. Let us hear your advice or questions in the comment section below. Please make sure you hit that subscribe button, click the notification bell so that you will be notified on our new videos. Thanks for watching and we see you again next time.